May Allah heal you from whatever pain you are suffering from. May Allah heal you from whatever pain you are suffering from. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen. Amma ba'd fa'a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Welcome back viewers of Madni Channel to your weekly program Spiritual Cures uh, so without further delay, we'll just welcome our guest. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. You well? Alhamdulillah. SubhanAllah. So before we move on towards the message, we've already received some messages, but before I move towards the messages, uh, we'll just mention one of the blessings of reciting durood and salam upon the best of creation, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. The final messenger, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, has said, Recite Salat upon me in abundance. Undoubtedly, your recital of the Salat upon me is a means of purification for you. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, salatan wa salaman alayka, ya Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is, my mother's name is, we live in Muscat and from the last few months, uh, many strange things are happening in our house. And it, it feels unusual. Uh, can you please do istikhara for me and check uh, if there's anything uh, wrong, whether it's somebody's done magic or whether it's uh, asrat, jinnat related. Uh, inshallah, we'll uh, uh, send your message on towards the Majlis, inshallah, they'll do the istikhara, watch, watch out. Um, they haven't actually mentioned uh, uh, a code name, uh, but I'll just, uh, what I'll do is I'll take a note of the city. Uh, obviously, it's out of the UK, so it's a, a different country. So I'll mention your country name. So when I mention Muscat, inshallah, uh, hopefully you'll understand that this particular istikhara reply is for myself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I don't know why, but my legs are not working. I can't seem to walk at all. May Allah Azza grant you cure. May Allah Azza grant you uh, the ability so you can start walking again. Adil bhai, it's when a, a ni'mat, when a, a gift or a blessing is taken away from somebody, that's when somebody realizes, like generally we walk and talk and everything, while our organs are active, but somebody who's walking uh, and then all of a sudden he can't walk, uh, that's when you really appreciate that blessing that you know, you've been given by, uh, by Allah May Allah grant you a cure, inshallah Azza wa Jal, will give us something for this, inshallah Azza wa Jal, unable to walk, I'll put down. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My family member remains ill most of the time. Please, can you do istikhara for us and let us know what seems to be the problem? Okay, no code name again. I'll just uh, mention illness and uh, inshallah. We hope that they'll understand. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please, can you kindly do istikhara? My name is, and my mother's name is, inshallah, we'll send this on as well. It doesn't mention what problem, and there's no code name as well. So what I'll do, there's no code name. What I'll do is third istikhara request. Allah. So I'll mention third istikhara request. So hopefully, if you are watching, that your uh, istikhara request is the third one. So I'll mention third istikhara request and hopefully you will uh, understand that this is yours. It does make it uh, helpful. Ji Adil Bhai, uh, I'll just mention one more. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I've been diagnosed with bone cancer. 
in my right leg. And it seems to be spreading very fast and it's very painful. Uh, if you can do istikhara for me, please, and uh, even uh, give us uh, some ruhani ilaj. Inshallah. May Allah uh, grant you complete cure from this uh, major illness. May Allah uh, remove it completely from your body. Uh, may Allah uh, grant you good health and better than before. Uh, and may Allah uh, relieve the pain and the struggle that you're uh, facing. Adiba, if you uh, take a, a mm -hmm. note, inshallah. And uh, unfortunately, there's no code name as well. Maybe uh, we're getting some new callers. This time, some new people have sent message and uh, be, yes. they've not sent uh, code names. Uh, but I'll put down as fourth istikhara request. Uh, and then hopefully you'll understand. I will mention briefly about the illness and then that will also indicate as well. Jidi al I'll leave you with uh, the uh, one or two spiritual cures, <coughs> mainly the way istikharik ourselves. I'll just send these forward as well. Jidi al are you hinting? I think that you're ready. Allah baik, inshallah. Regarding one wazifa, I'll give it to if anybody's suffering from the asrat or they seem to think that there is something and uh, they're facing a quite a lot of troubles. Um, for that reason, one wazifa and one hisar as well which is that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do that. Um, and with that, Alhamdulillah, you will be protected from any type of harm, inshallah. So before going in bed, sit down. After the Isha Namaz, obviously everybody tried to go sleep. Just sat down on the bed and read last three surahs. Surah Ikhlas, Surah Falak and Surah Nas. But before and after Drudi Park and with each surah, with Bismillah Sharif. Read all three of them together, all of them, and then blow it on the hand and rub all over the body, wherever you can reach it. Second time, same way, read it and blow it and rub it all over the body. Third time, same way. Inshallah, with that, you will be protected from any harm, any type of issues, Inshallah, will be clear. SubhanAllah. This Amma, like you're mentioning, that it's also Sunnah. Well, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to perform this hisar. Jiji. Subhanallah. Yes. Uh, regarding leg pain, I said, uh, or somebody can't walk because of a, obviously pain or whatever uh, issues with them. Whatever problem yeah, that like, they're facing. Yeah. They haven't actually mentioned what's... What kind of illness, yeah. obviously. Basically, yeah. they're unable to walk. Allah Ta'ala gives so them a shifa. Because they're unable to walk now, there's an indication that they, that means they were able to walk and now Before, they're unable yes. to walk. So what, for whatever, whatever reason, they're not uh, able to walk anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, Allah Ta'ala give them a shifa. Ameen. Very Ameen. simple wazifa, um, a spiritual cure. Anybody can do it. If somebody can't read, then um, somebody sit down with them and uh, repeat it. Hopefully with that, whilst listening sometime, obviously, person understand what to read. So in this way, uh, they will inshallah read and uh, hopefully with that they will get cured. Recite Ya Muhyi, Ya Muhyi, Ya Muhyi seven times and blow on yourself whether it is pain caused by anything or illness. Um, if it's a legs pain, obviously just read it seven times, blow it on the legs. If you can't reach it, then blow it on the hand and rub it all over the uh, pain, hopefully with that, inshallah, the whatever illness will be get cured. <clears throat> but I'm going to suggest uh, uh, send someone on the Ruhani large stall as well and get Tabizat. Hopefully with that, inshallah, they will get cured. Subhanallah. Then we can, I, I can add into that deal as well, Kana, that uh, they can get these uh, uh, dumb strings. Yes. I inshallah, so. the dumb strings, so, if, they get, if, if you do visit, uh, I mean, <coughs> you can send a message in and mention uh, what part of the UK you are from, and we could uh, indicate you or uh, point you to the right direction to the nearest Rouhani Ilaj stall. So, but like Adil Bhai has mentioned, that do visit your nearest Rouhani Ilaj stall uh, to get some tavizad, to get some amulets, and also request the uh, dumb string. Because uh, inshallah, uh, by wearing these, inshallah, I'm most certain that if Allah wills, inshallah, uh, this will problem will be removed and you will be able to uh, walk. Because I have, I have seen people where they have, were unable to walk or True. they had very severe uh, leg problem where they had an operation and even doctors mentioned to them that maybe you, know, you, you might be wheelchair bound, you, know, you might not be able to walk. Mm -hmm. And alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, by using these dumb strings, 
um, they uh, alhamdulillah they're walking and not just walking they're running as well Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. so uh, very many uh, madani bahars in regards to these uh, strings remember cure is from Allah and uh, that person is cured who Allah wills uh, but we can try uh, like when we're ill and we go to visit the, the doctor and we get some medicine uh, now the cure is from Allah but the doctor is a means and the medicine that the doctor gives is also a means uh, but cure is from Allah so Allah. like we take that means uh, I'm not saying don't do that means do that means as well but also seek Rouhani ilaj as well ilaj. Subhanallah <laughs> Ji, uh, except the uh, third one uh, regarding illness uh, what kind of illness they have Allah knows the best Allah give them a cure if, if they have any kind of illness uh, one wazifa which is uh, normally whilst walking or sitting they can read it Ya Salamu Ya Salamu Ya Salamu hopefully with that inshallah any illness will be get cured and same was if 111 times before and after through the park read it blow in the water and drink it hopefully with that inshallah all illness will be get cured Subhanallah Subhanallah so Ya Salamu Ya Salamu Ya Salamu 111 times and then drushi before and after and blow subhanallah and it is mentioned that it's cure for every type of every illness type of... and it says cure for everything apart from death subhanallah for all subhanallah. types of illnesses come under this subhanallah subhanallah yes, it's some of allah so we should subhanallah. believe firm believe and then read it ji, ji, ji. hopefully with that, yeah, that is inshallah. that is important ji, ji. that is very important that you must have yakin you must have belief uh, that allah can cure anything and my illness is, is nothing. Nothing, yes. You know? Yes. As in, you know, you might be going through very severe pains and problems, mm -hmm. but in the court of Allah, it's nothing. It's nothing. Take a, you know, we're going through difficulty. Yes, and, you know, yes. I mean, some people like they're suffering from, like, for example, this uh, person, the message we mentioned earlier, where somebody's got cancer in his leg. Now, that's a, a major illness. But in the court of Allah, that's nothing. If Allah okay. wants you to be cure, you know, Within one, night. one second and you know, it could be, you know, they, they could be relieved and it could, it could go away. And yeah. these things have happened. We've had people who have gone on um, a Rouhani large course uh, from the uh, Rouhani large stalls at Bai. And I know some people, you know, the viewers are watching, they might think, you know, what's he saying? He's talking about cancer. You know, the, the doctors don't seem to remember mm -hmm. that there is cure for every illness. Okay. Whether us human beings have found the cure or not, but there is cure for every type of, every illness. Type of illness. And you know, there, are, there might be some illnesses where at this moment in time, we haven't, you know, uh, those people who, you know, the scientists and et cetera, that, they uh, you know, they're experimenting and they're finding cures. They mm -hmm. haven't found cures for certain illnesses, which is why they can't really prescribe something and they're just giving care and et cetera. But there is cure for everything. Okay. And all cure is from our creator, Allah Alham. 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 And if he wants to cure somebody, whether it's through medicine or sometimes even generally, you know, somebody is just generally through the food. And, uh, and if he wills that somebody gets cured through Rouhani Ilaj, then that person will get cured through Rouhani Ilaj. Alham. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, there is one spiritual cure, which I probably mentioned in the program before as well. It's a, a particular spiritual cure, a cure that needs to be recited. And you recite it a, a, a number of times. And then you blow upon the person who's inflicted with cancer. Sure. You also blow upon some water and give that water to the person who's suffering from cancer to drink. And as well as that, you also blow upon the, any medication that the person is taking. And inshallah, well, if Allah wills, that person Subhan. will be cured from Subhan. cancer. So inshallah. it's not that people don't get relieved. Alhamdulillah, it's not Maybe. just one. We've had many incidents in regards to people suffering from cancer and then they've gone on a, a course for uh, of Rouhani large they fulfilled the course alhamdulillah and then when they've had checks done afterwards mm -hmm. uh, you know the cancer has disappeared Clear. and uh, just one of the later ones just quite lately sorry going back some months ago mm -hmm. where somebody's family member he was suffering from cancer and uh, he there's a plate course that uh, given specifically for major illnesses so and as um, cancer is as cancer, a major yes. illness now this brother uh, came to us at the Rouhani large store and he mentioned that my family member uh, he's actually not in this country as well you know he was in a, a country abroad and uh, he said that my family member he's got 
uh, a form of cancer that he's suffering. The doctors have said mm -hmm. that he's got cancer. He mentioned a particular uh, area. I can't uh, remember exactly now. But anyway, he took the the the, the, course. the course for the plates and he sent them away. Subhan. You know, out of the corner, whether he parcel them or if somebody was going. Wallahu alam. I'm not sure. But mm -hmm. he sent. That and uh, so they, they, they followed the course and then once they completed the actual course, then they went for checkups and the doctors were amazed That's that right. you know, the cancers disappeared. Subhanallah. 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 So, you know, just because we are inflicted, remember tests, trials, tribulations, they all come from Allah. People are, different people are uh, put through to different tests. So sometimes somebody is put through a test of illness mm -hmm. and, we, you know, remember that uh, we need to try and be happy in whatever state we are in. Uh, be thankful to Allah and have our uh, sight, how our, uh, you know, towards Allah you know, our, in, our supplications and asking from Allah. And inshallah, if, if uh, Allah wills, then our supplications, our du'as, it will be accepted and inshallah our illnesses will be removed, be removed inshallah, inshallah. Uh, so uh, not to lose hope that's a major thing Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Uh, can i mention some more messages that we've received assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh uh, please can i request a spiritual cure for knee pain Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have been suffering from severe back pain. Can I please have a vazifa for this? Labbaik. Back pain, uh, deal by please. Inshallah. Just one more, inshallah. And then uh, uh, we'll move on. I'll let you try to find these then. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We hope you are well. Uh, it's exam season soon. Again, for Jamiatul Madinah students. Subhanallah. Allah yes, the, the annual exams are just around the corner. Uh, could you please pre uh, present to us a spiritual cure that can help us with revising and also help us pass our exams? Inshallah. So help with revising Indeed. as well as uh, so they get successful in their exams as well. So revision, I think revision is a difficult part, isn't it? You know, people start and then after a little while, get tired. They get tired, or, or you know, the, 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 something else is going on, maybe in the room where they're revising. One uh, tip you can say is that try to seclude yourself, move away from. For example, if you're at home and you're revising at home, try not to sit in the same room where the family is sitting with you. Because there'll be one or another, you know, uh, disturbance. F firstly, noise level, and it's not going to be easy for you to concentrate. Yeah. Secondly, there'll be something happening, and you'll keep looking up, or you'll hear some sound, or etc. And you'll keep looking up. So yes. even that is a distraction. Yeah. Thirdly, something else that'll be happening which you want to participate in, but it's your time for revision, and that will be you know, you'll want to move away from here. Because remember, revising or revision itself. It's not very exciting. It's exactly. something you need to do because you want to See, pass your exams. You so, you know, you see, you are, people do get bored very True. quickly. True. And exactly. if something else is happening which is of more interest, then you're more on, easily on the side. Uh, inclined to move away from your revision. <laughs> so, total separate room where it's quiet, there's no disturbances, and inshallah, you'll be able to concentrate as well. Mm -hmm. And the other uh, benefit, uh, Adil Bhai, when you're in like a, a secluded room, a room on your own, then you can, uh, because uh, you're on your own, so then you can actually read out, you know, you're, wherever you're revising, mm -hmm. you're reading. If you read out slightly louder, Loudly. Gee, rather than, you know, silently, then you're also, you're reading, so that's one way of intaking the knowledge. True. And secondly, because you you're reading it. it aloud, you're also hearing it as well. So it's a, it's a quicker way of you uh, revising and quicker way of you remembering things that you're trying to intake, that you're trying to remember, inshallah. Uh, mashallah, vazifa of the day, uh, spiritual cure of the day of today. Ji Adil Bhai. Ji, I said, um, are you ready with the vazifa? Well? Alhamdulillah. 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 I'll uh, mention the vazifa, inshallah. The vazifa. inshallah. Uh, it's a very beautiful ayat, uh, just a verse. Read it and with that, inshallah, you will be 
تبقى كيور ان شاء الله عز وجل بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الا يعلم من خلق وهو اللطيف الخبير recite the above blessed verse 2022 meaning 2022 times with salat upon holy prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam 11 times before and 11 times after and blow on yourself and blow on the water as i just mentioned before blow on the medicine as well and eat a drink Smart. with that inshallah azawajal you will get cured and i just mentioned obviously course as well we go a plate course uh, tabzat course which is uh, also used that as well inshallah so, azawajal hmm. with that you will be i think this is the one that i mentioned as well isn't it, it is, yes, mashallah sir. so hana so you pulled out the one that i actually mentioned as well <laughs> mashallah the yeah, um, <clears throat> knee pain i said that's a yeah. uh, common knee pain um regarding knee pain um whilst running around in the house if a islamic sisters obviously they they has to stay half in the in the house obviously so they can read cooking it. cleaning etc so and it doesn't cool. matter you don't have to sit down and recite Just so whilst you so like the, 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 the mothers and sisters that are home whilst they're cooking they could be reading and uh, you know while they're cleaning they're doing the taqi etc they can be wiping the window sill etc they could be doing the wazifa subhanallah ya ghani ya ghani ya ghani yes while doing uh, why would you want to do it but keep reading with your tongue in this way inshallah you're going to stay away from the any other thoughts as well so keep reading it with that inshallah all body pains will be Clear, so you don't even need to keep a tasbih then no so i don't know if normally it's like for example if you're doing Counting, some yes. if you're doing some chores at home and, yes. and you've got you have got the tasbih in your hand now it is a bit easy you got them like ring tasbih like yes. etc so they make it easier True. which is better than the beads one because if you had that in your hand you can't really yeah. use that hand it could but so with these ring ones you can do some work and you also got it on your Counting finger well. so you can still use the counter but here you don't even need that as well so you it. could be full on doing your work keep reading and just recite it inshallah mashallah ya ghaniyu ya ghaniyu ya ghaniyu ji subhanallah regarding uh, it's a back pain um, it's uh, one wazifa uh, after salat after salat or read this ayah seven times and perform them on both hands and then rub the hands on the area of a pain if you have a back pain then you have to obviously read this ayah i'll mention inshallah azza wa jalla bismillahir rahmanir rahim law anzalna hadha alquran ala jabal la ra'aytahu khashiyan mutasaddiyan min khashiyatillah wa tilka al amthal nadribuha lin nas la'allahum yatafakkarun this ayat uh, part 28 surah al hashr verse 21 So, recite this blow away before and after through the part with bismillah <coughs> blow on the hand and rub it and then i'm going to suggest uh, go nearest the ruhani ilaj basta spiritual cure stall as well and get the uh, string as i just mentioned before as well and uh, wear those hopefully with that inshallah azawajal your back pain will be clear as well subhanallah and these strings that we're talking about they by they're not just for your ankles and wrists are they you can actually get it for back pain as well subhanallah, subhanallah. a lot of people are um, aware of you know who used to suffer with back pain yes, yes. alhamdulillah they've used this uh, string tying around their uh, waist area the <coughs> alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah to relieve the back pain alhamdulillah subhanallah subhanallah adilba you mentioned that Uh, recite this verse uh, seven times after salah so uh, af- it's do any mention. particular namaz or it can every, be after every, every salah you can after every salah they okay. can mention okay uh, because i know you mentioned salah but i, I thought yes. maybe i, I missed the you which which salah you mentioned <laughs> so it's not fixed to any salah so you, so you can do it whether you do it once or whether you do it after every salah every so you salah. can do it you know daily five times should be every salah after because every in salah. this way hopefully and they will remember as well inshallah subhanallah uh, exams i sub and this is the main thing for the students um, more pressure at that time so alhamdulillah i will go spiritual cure for that as well surah ikhlas 16 times along with bismillahir rahmanir rahim each time after the five prayers while in a state of wudu followed by them making dua to allah for success in their exams so, inshallah azawajal with that they will get success as well and hopefully they uh, um, memorize as well while they're going to read it 
And Baba Jans obviously mentioned uh, one uh, particular ayat. Uh, every uh, book, whenever you need to read it, just read that one first and then try to uh, revise, hopefully with that, inshallah, Zubajal, wherever you're going to read it, you will remember it. Subhanallah, I think you mentioned, I think you mentioned, uh, you indicated it was Allah uh, Mahf, which one the? Um, it's not coming in my mind as well uh, at this time, that's why. Uh, Baba Chan's, any booklet you pick up, is uh, written on the front page. So hopefully with that, inshallah, you will remember it. I'll try to find it. Allah 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 as you know, the, the person who sent this message in, they mentioned uh, in regards to, I think if you um, recite this dua before every lesson as well, inshallah, it'll, uh, it'll help in you uh, remembering that particular yeah. lesson as well. So, mashallah, Dilbay, I've given you a spiritual cure in regards to success uh, for your exams. And alhamdulillah, before that, uh, I did share some tips in regards to a revision as well, because I remember so, in the message you did mention uh, help to revise and also uh, success in the exam. So if you put them into practice, inshallah, <coughs> if Allah wills, uh, you will be successful in your exams. I'll go, uh, I can decide that which is obviously Allahumma iftah alayna hikmataka wa anshur alayna rahmataka ya dhal jalali wal ikram. Before studying a religious book, it's uh, mentioned as well. Yes, yes, yes. So just try to uh, memorize this one whenever you try to read it and read this before. Hopefully, with that, inshallah, everything will be. Inshallah, inshallah. Do I, uh, let me just mention uh, a Allah few more messages. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, please, would you do istikhara for uh, name, mother's name? Uh, things are not going well. And doctors now diagnosed angina and blocked arteries. Allah will grant you a cure and remove this illness. Please make dua. Allah Almighty grants him the best of health and iman. Code name Ya Ghos Al Madad. Inshallah. Uh, inshallah, I'll forward this on to the Majlis, inshallah. Uh, Adilba, if you can also look. Uh, for a vazifa in regards to uh, heart, inshallah. G, uh, heart related deal by this. G, inshallah. Inshallah, I'll just send this on so we'll get this istikhar. And Allah will grant you a uh, cure uh, from this, inshallah. Deal by will uh, we'll do the istikhar as well, and also deal by will uh, get a vazifa out for you, uh, inshallah. So uh, just watch out. Uh, for the reply, I will mention the code name once the istikhara is done, inshallah. Uh, some of the istikharas that we've uh, uh, had, the replies have come. So we are coming on to the last quarter approximately yes, of the program. So I'll just uh, mention the few that we've already had. Uh, we had the istikhara request, uh, which was from somebody from Muscat. And they requested istikhara because strange things happening in the home, etc. Uh, so they did send their address. So the istikhara of the house has also been done. Uh, the indication in the istikhara is of asrat. So uh, if you can uh, get in touch, uh, if I don't know if there's a if there will be a Rouhani large stall in their locality, uh, what you can do, and I'll mention this as well, uh, and this also benefits, remember that uh, the istikhara is not limited to this program which we have. Uh, you can get istikhara done throughout the week. In fact, what I'm saying throughout the week, you can get istikhara done seven days a week. Okay. Alhamdulillah, Dawud Islamis uh, department, Ruhani Ilaj, I Spiritual Cures, uh, have the istikhara office here in the UK, uh, which operates seven days a week, alhamdulillah. So and, there's, and remember, all these services are totally free of cost. So if somebody uh, you get in touch with is requesting any type of uh, favors, whether it's, you know, they're wanting money or they, they're wanting gifts or anything, then you have uh, contacted to uh, a wrong department. It's not Dawud Islami because 
the Alt Islamis, uh, this department of Rouhani Ilaj, do not charge for any of its services. So like I was saying, the Istikhara office is open seven days a week. And remember, only Islamic brothers can call uh, on this service. So Islamic sisters who require Istikhara, if they can get their uh, male family member to call on their behalf, uh, I'll mention the, uh, the contact number. They are open seven days and it's from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. Monday to Saturday and Sunday it's from 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. So and the, the number to call is 01274 733 That's 01274 733 01274 The Islamic sisters who don't have any mahram to call for them, uh, not to worry, uh, we do have the uh, Rouhani Ilaj WhatsApp Istikhara service. Uh, so the number I'm going to mention in a minute, don't call on this number because remember it is a WhatsApp Istikhara service. Uh, so nobody will answer the call. So don't be disappointed that I'm ringing and nobody's answering because it's not a, a service where somebody will call, will answer and then do your Istikhara for you. It is a WhatsApp Istikhara service. So Islamic sisters can send in a message. Remember, send in a text message uh, relating to the Istikhara that you want performing. Mention the name and the mother's name and a brief description of what Istikhara that you're wanting to get done. The Istikhara will be performed and the reply will be sent back uh, to you on your uh, contact number. Subhanallah. And remember that uh, daily uh, uh, Istikharas are performed and the replies are given. So nothing is pending to be uh, to roll over for the next day. The only reason why anything would roll over to the next day is if you had sent in a message, uh, maybe at 10 o'clock or, or after 10 o'clock, uh, when the office uh, time has closed. Um, and I was mentioning, and uh, uh, I'll mention this also that this, uh, if, you, if this viewer is watching who sent in this message from Muscat, uh, then this particular uh, contact number, because I, I'm not aware if there's any Rouhani large stall there in Muscat. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you take note of this uh, particular number, also send in a WhatsApp message, and inshallah, uh, the, uh, the brothers who overlook this will inshallah give you further guidance in regards to the istikhara reply that you received of Asrat. And the contact number for the Istikhara WhatsApp service, remember it's Istikhara WhatsApp service, but you can actually send messages uh, requesting uh, spiritual cures on this number as well. So you can get your Rouhani Ilaj, Wazifas, etc. from this number. You can also have your Istikharas done from this number via WhatsApp. And you can also request uh, Rouhani Ilaj Taweez uh, and amulets, etc., on this number as well. For example, you, you don't have a, a Rouhani Ilaj stall in your locality, for example, or you don't drive, and the nearest Rouhani Ilaj stall is in a, a different city, it's not close by, you're unable to go there, you don't drive, etc., or you don't have any mehram that can go there to the actual Rouhani Ilaj stall and get these tavis, amulets for you, then simply you can send in a message uh, and request, you know, mention your problem and what you require Rouhani Ilaj for and uh, inshallah and, and uh, send your complete uh, postal address and inshallah azawajal, you will be uh, sent out amulets, taweez uh, whilst you're in the comfort of your home and they'll be sent to your home and this is also totally free of cost. Subhan you don't have to send, you know, postage costs, etc. as well. Subhan I'll mention the number is <clears throat> 07 Five three five one double five seven double one. That's zero seven five three five one double five seven double one. Zero seven five three five one double five seven double one. Okay. <clears throat> the second uh, istikhara request was in regards to somebody who remains ill uh, uh, most of the time. No, actually, it wasn't. It wasn't. 
regarding, it was regarding the second istikhara was, I think that's probably the third one. Mm-hmm. The second istikhara request was in regards to somebody who is unable to walk, they've got the leg problems. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, Adil Bai mentioned a, a spiritual cure for yourself. So do follow that as well. And the, you did um, request istikhara for yourself as well. In the istikhara, the indication is of illness. So uh, a test means of azmaish, uh, a test through the means of illness. Uh, do uh, keep uh, uh, supplicating, keep doing the spiritual cure that's been mentioned. Uh, and if it's possible, do visit your nearest Ruhani Ilaj stall as well. Uh, and mention to them that in the istikhara, the indication came of illness. Inshallah, they'll give you taweez, amulets in regards to this. And don't forget to get the uh, dumb string as well. Or dumb strings, depending on. Uh, in fact, I'd recommend that you get one for both legs. So get one for each leg. G. Uh, the next request for istikhara was uh, obviously no code name mentioned, but it was the third request. So the third request of istikhara uh, was in regards to somebody who remains ill most of the time, or mm-hmm. if not all the time. Allah will grant you cure. Um. The istikhara reply has come back as an indication of illness. No black magic, no evil eye, etc. I think they probably mentioned that. Can you check if there's evil eye, etc. So this was also an indication of illness. Uh, Do recite Ya Salamu, Ya Salamu, Ya Salamu 111 times. And inshallah, if Allah wills, uh, you will uh, be cured, inshallah. Inshallah. In fact, another one has come. Uh, Another uh, Vazifa just came to my mind. Because you remember you mentioned that um, somebody who remains ill most of the time, Ya Mu'idu, Ya Mu'idu, Ya Mu'idu. If you recite this, there's no fixed amount of time and you don't have to do it, you know, at a fixed time or a fixed amount of times. Uh, just recite this constantly. So the person who remains ill, uh, recite this in abundance, Ya Mu'idu, Ya Mu'idu, Ya Mu'idu, Inshallah Azawajal, you will be cured. So uh, cool. Just mention a, a, an istikhar request because we are coming uh, towards the end of the program and this message has come through. I just got a notification and I thought I'll mention it quickly so the istikhara, brothers can also do the istikhara whilst we're uh, dealing with the other matters. Uh, can, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, please, can you do istikhara? And they've mentioned the name and they've also mentioned uh, the mother's name and they've mentioned job problem. So they haven't mentioned, they haven't mentioned a code name, but I'll just put job problem. So I'll mention job problem and inshallah you should be able to understand that this was istikhara request for, you, for yourself. It does make life easy for yourself actually. Mentioning a code name, but never mind. Uh, okay, uh, the fourth request for istikhara. I'm saying third request, fourth request because there's no code names, uh, Adil Bai. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, this was in regards to, uh, okay, there's, they didn't even mention uh, what the problem was. So there was no indication, but it was the request, the fourth request for istikhara. So the istikhara has been performed. Uh, so if this message was yours, uh, the istikhara has been done, it's, and the indication in the istikhara has come back as evil eye. Evil eye as in nazir uh, Inshallah, if uh, Adil Bai can quickly give us a, uh, a wazifa for that, Inshallah. I've just made a note. So if you can give uh, for nazir for the fourth one, Inshallah. Uh, and we have got... One more, I'll just mention this one as well, and I'll go over to you then, Adil Bai. Okay, so this was in regards to the uh, the brother who mentioned regarding cancer. So Alhamdulillah, we've given you a vazifa. If you put that into practice, do carry on with your medication, but also start the spiritual cure, the Ruhani Ilaj as well. Uh, and in the istikhara, the indication, there's no black magic, no evil eye, etc. The indication has come back as illness. Uh, so, uh, do remain patient. I know there's suffering there and there's also pain, but do try to remain patient. Keep supplicating because Allah uh, is the answer of supplications. Do act out the spiritual cure as well. Uh, and if means be, uh, depending on where you are in the UK, do contact your nearest Rouhani Ilaj stall and request this uh, plates course, which is specifically for major illnesses like cancer and uh, similar. Uh, so do also uh, 
do that as well. G. Dilbai. G. Yes, uh, regarding heart issue, uh, somebody have obviously artery, uh, artery uh, blocked or whatever uh, problem doctor mentions. May Allah give them a cure. Wazifa is uh, recite Surah Yaseen at any time of the day, blow on an ap apple and then eat it on an empty stomach. Batteries, when you uh, get up in the morning uh, for the breakfast, before the breakfast, uh, thumb apple, just try to eat that one. Hopefully with that, inshallah, any heart problem will be cured. Subhanallah. Regarding evil eye hides up, but that's a common quite a lot of people guess uh, evil eye. Uh, very simple wazifa, recite 60 times, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, and blow onto yourself will alleviate the impact of the evil eye, inshallah. Or you can ask someone to read it and blow it on yourself. Hopefully, with that, inshallah, evil eye will be removed. The istikhara reply has also come back in regards to that and uh, the code name for this was Ya uh, Ghos uh, Al Madad. So this is the reply is for yourself. The code name was Ya uh, Ghos Al Madad, uh, and the istikhara indication has come back as a sign of illness. There's no evil eye, no black magic, etc. G. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can I please request a vazifa for toothache? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This might be the last one that we can probably uh, get the answers back for because we've only got the last few minutes. Uh, so can I have a, uh, a vazifa for my theory test? I've got a theory test coming up. Uh, so can I please request a vazifa for this? Probably a lot of people love theory tests. So this will, uh, we've got this person who sent their message in, in regards to theory test, but I'm sure this will benefit uh, some other viewers uh, as well. Ji yes, uh, uh, regarding tooth, tooth pain, toothache, um, recite Surah Quraysh. If someone has toothache, he should recite Surah Quraysh 21 times in the state of a wudu and then blow onto the salt. Rub that salt on the painful area. So just recite it, sit down, put the salt a little bit on the front. Recite through the park before and after with Bismillah Sharif Surah Quraysh, blow on the salt and just try to rub it wherever you have a pain. Hopefully, with that, inshallah, your pain will be uh, guaranteed. Inshallah. Jiri, but we had the uh, request in regards to somebody who's having a job problem. They want to, looking for a job and they can't find, they just mentioned job problem. Mm -hmm. So they're unemployed basically and they're looking for a job and they're having difficulty, so they wanted istikhara doing. The istikhara reply has come back as an indication of azmaish, i.e. a test, so there's no uh, hindrance or anything, nobody's done anything mm -hmm. that you're, you're unable to find the job. Keep uh, looking, uh, inshallah azawajal, and keep making dua. Dilba, any wazifa for this? Ya Latifu, Ya Latifu, in the morning, uh, after the Fajr Salah is better, just read 100 times before and after do the park, and then do dua, hopefully with that, inshallah, you will find it. Inshallah, Ya Latifu, Ya Latifu, Ya Latifu, 100 times, Durushi before and after, and supplicate, inshallah, uh, may Allah grant you uh, um, a good job, uh, an easy job, uh, which is uh, halal, and which is also uh, beneficial for you uh, with blessings. Uh, that does take us to the end of the program. We have reached the end of the program. Uh, so thank you for joining us and do join us same time, same place next week only on Madani channel. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa May Allah heal you from whatever pain you are suffering from. May Allah 